Mr. Elliott, Joe Pike from Sky News. Are you offering access to your uncle for money, Mr. Elliott? This is Ben Elliott, one of the best connected men in the country. He's co-chairman of the Conservative Party in charge of raising millions from Tory donors. He's the nephew of the Prince of Wales and the Duchess of Cornwall, accused of selling access to the future king, although there is no suggestion Prince Charles was aware. There are other members who, who, who just use us because we're the best at getting sporting tickets. And he's the founder of Quintessentially, a concierge service for the super rich. He's described himself as a willing slave to the stars. Do you think it's appropriate that you have seemingly been taking money for access to Prince Charles? Mohammed Amersi knows Ben Elliott's charms. The telecoms millionaire turned philanthropist is currently embroiled in corruption claims. I have never ever acted dishonestly or with impropriety at any point in time. But over the last four years, he and his partner have donated £750,000 to the Tories. He has been a member of Quintessentially and met both Boris Johnson and Prince Charles. He remains loyal to the party and its leader, but is concerned about conflicts of interest. If there were lapses, then I think the best thing the party could do or should do is to convene a special um, investigation. Do you think Ben Elliott should remain in his job? He's done a great job in terms of raising money for the party. The party has to see, the board has to see whether he is somebody that is willing and able to work within those strictures. And if the answer to that is yes, give him a chance. If the answer to that is no, then perhaps um, invite him to reconsider his position. Labour argue Ben Elliott should go. This is cronyism and sleaze at the heart of government and the Conservatives should be rooting it out rather than doubling down and promoting it. A Conservative Party spokesperson said Ben Elliott's business and charitable work are entirely separate to the voluntary work he does for the party. Donations to the Conservative Party are properly and transparently declared to the Electoral Commission, published by them and comply fully with the law. Of course, every party needs donations. With Labour, it's largely from the trade unions. The Conservatives rely on business people. But the suggestion here is not just that if you have the money, you can meet some of the most powerful people in the country, but that one of the most senior figures in the Tory party is mixing his personal, political and business interests. You've been criticised for seemingly having conflict of interests between different roles you hold in the Conservative Party, the closeness to the royal family. Is it appropriate? Ben Elliott remains in post. It seems the Prime Minister is loath to lose his fundraising talents. Joe Pike, Sky News, Manchester.